What's up guys? My name is John and today we're going to be talking about retro gaming and how to do it on your Mac. Retro gaming never seems to get old, but the older the 80s and 90s generations get, the original 2D Mario is getting harder and harder to recognize, and it's only a matter of time until it becomes completely unrecognizable. Just like the old Zelda. So 2000s babies, take notes. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started so you can hurry up and try to beat the levels you can never beat as a kid. For all you tech spec nerds out there, I am currently running Mac OS Sierra version 10.12.5 on a MacBook Pro Retina mid-2014, but this should work on any Mac that has Bluetooth enabled and is running version 10.11 or later. So we're gonna go to openemu.org. I'll put a link in the description box, but as you can see here, uh, the requirement is uh, OS 10.11 or above. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and click the download now button. And uh, when you download this, it's not gonna download a DMG file or anything. It's just gonna download the application itself. So what you're going to want to do is, once that finishes downloading, just go ahead and drag that to your applications box, uh, your applications window. So I'm going to show you real quick. Open up Finder, click and drag to applications. I already have it in there, so I'm not going to actually drag it. So yeah, there it is right there. All right, so once you dragged OpenEMU over to your applications window, it's time to download some ROMs. Uh, ROMs, to put it simply, are just the games that you want to play. I usually just go to Google, type in ROMs. Usually, EM, usually EMU Paradise is the first one that pops up, and 99.9% .9 of the time, this is where I go. Uh, I like it because it has a list of consoles right there on the front page, and if you click on any of those links, it'll take you to whatever games are available for that specific console. What I also like is that Open EMU, if you look on the left, column. Uh, hold on a second, it's opening up. Any day now, come on. Alright, it was already open in the background. But if you look on the left column, you see all those different consoles that are available. So, I mean, I only play probably like five of these consoles, but if you go, if you look at the EMU Paradise homepage, just look at whatever emulator you want to download a game for and you just click it. So for example, Nintendo NES or Nintendo Entertainment, the original Nintendo, okay, as you saw right there, it had the, uh, the most downloaded game, which is Wheel of Fortune. I don't know why, but uh, if you click on the download link, it'll take you down to the download link. Um, click on that, it'll take you here. You scroll down and then you will see the actual link. So it's three different clicks to download the game. Uh, you see the file size is real small, so once you're done with that, just open your Open EMU window back up and then click and drag the ROM over and <laughs> it'll automatically load. I'm probably gonna delete this game right after I'm done with this, but just for an example, uh, this is what it looks like. So you double click it and it opens up. Now uh, you hover over it a little bit and you'll see this little bar that pops up at the bottom. This is where you, see your different screen settings and your game controls. So if you click edit game controls, you see right down there is your input for keyboard, which is uh, your default. Uh, if you click on that, you'll see what controllers are available, but since we haven't mapped any or linked any yet, or paired any, it's blank. So uh, the next step is optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but uh, if you're an awesome keyboard gamer, then good for you. If not, then we're gonna go ahead and connect one up so you're good to go if you're gonna play with your keyboard but if not just stand by this next step is optional so now we're gonna be turning on Bluetooth using one of three ways either at the top taskbar uh, if you don't see that Bluetooth icon though just go ahead and click on the Apple system preferences or hit command space on your keyboard to bring up the spotlight search tool and type in system preferences and you'll see the Bluetooth icon down at the bottom. Just go ahead and click that and turn Bluetooth on. And from here, you're gonna to wanna to grab your PS4 controller and hold the share button and the PlayStation button at the same time, and you will see it pop up just like this. Go ahead and click pair, um, and it should connect rather quickly. And then you wanna go back to your open EMU window, open up whatever game you wanna play. In this case, we'll just use Contra. 
And like I said earlier, you're going to hover over the box using your mouse, click on that gear icon, and click edit game controls. So also as mentioned earlier, your default input will be your keyboard. If you click that button, you'll see your PlayStation 4 controller. But we're going to take a look at this Nintendo controller real quick and kind of predetermine how we want to map our buttons. So I'm just going to do X for B and circle for A since it you know, goes from left to right. And then the rest of the buttons, I'm kind of going to just leave the same or just leave them as they are because I don't really care about those buttons. So once we exit this box out, go ahead and click the gear icon again and then select filters. That, that will change how your screen looks. So this will mimic like an old school TV. And then the rest of these are just little creative styles, I guess. Um, so you just pretty much choose what you want from here. And then uh, once you're satisfied, you're pretty much good to start gaming. So there you have it. Retro gaming on your Mac. If you have any questions or comments or anything, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to this video if you want to see more of my stuff. Alright? Peace!